Hi, I'm Isabel Randall, a fashion designer, maker and coach. And today I'm going to talk about Japanese pattern cutting. And today I wanted to really work on my skills in Japanese pattern cutting because I want to fuse the two together, East meets West. I was trained uh, at college and university and of course I've, I've worked with the Western style of pattern cutting um, for three decades now. Um, but I love, I love the, the theory and the approach behind Japanese pattern cutting. I think it's so clever, so clever. And I want to fuse the two together to make my own kind of style. Um, because I have developed my own signature style over the years with pattern cutting, you find once you've learned the foundation and uh, develop that, advanced in that, you then start to really develop your own style on top of that. So today I'm working on a shirt and it's got panels, two at the back, two at the front, collar stand or a collar band, whatever you want to call it, and a yoke. But the clever bit about it, and that's where Japanese pattern cutting comes in because they just see things differently and I think in a, a really clever way, is I'm going to overlap the panels so sections of it will stand away from the shirt and other sections will be sewn in together, connected. So you can see at the back I've got the centre back panel but with the side panel, I want to overlap it. So let me pin that down for the minute. So it will connect, it will sew in to the yoke seam. But at a point, which would be around there, of connecting the seam together, I then want it to overlap. You see, so this area will be above the shirt. And the same with the front. I'm going to match my notches. Notches are paramount, by the way. Essential, never ever miss out notches. So that will connect there and so from that bus point all the way down to the hem. Side seams will sew together as normal but then you see this piece is going to come over and attach to the stem like that. So you're going to have this cool, it will look like a collar coming down and then sewn into the blouse. It's so, so clever. And then that will just sew together the, the, the yoke. And so you'll have sections sewn together and connected and other sections that just stand away. Now, Thinking about it now, I might just want to make that the feature and just sew this flap in. And also, instead of connecting it at the top with the band, so you have that collar effect there, I actually might take that away and just sew it flat to the band. So the band is visible at the back and coming around the front, mainly apart from this. So it makes that design stand out even more. Everything else is flat, apart from this section here. So I hope I've inspired you. I'm gonna crack on and enjoy my day.